Hello guys, welcome to Fundamentals of ABM1. Again, I am Teacher Pearl, now signing on. Our topic for today's video lesson is Describe the Nature of Accounting. This lesson, why? Before we proceed, as part of our review from our previous lesson, let us try to answer this cryptograms puzzle. I will be giving you five minutes to answer this. So, just pause the video while you are still answering. Are you ready? Uh-oh. That's it. So, you are going to solve the cryptograms. And then after that, I, I, I will reveal the answer. I will be giving you maybe five minutes or more. It's up to you. Just post this video lesson as well as this uh, presentation so that while you are answering, you can concentrate. Focus class. Okay, I think you are done. Anybody would try to share his or her answer? Well, well, well. The answer for this cryptogram is... Is accounting is a process of identifying measuring and communicating economic information about an entity to permit informed judgments and decisions by users of the information. Who got the correct answer? I think all of you get the correct answer. The learning competency for this video lesson is Describe the nature of accounting. For knowledge, recall terms relating, related to accounting. For skill, describe the different nature of accounting. And for ability, display appreciation on the utility of the accounting. So that is, that's for the learning competency and objectives of today's video lesson. Now, let us have this exploration. I want you to locate the words in the grid running in the either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal direction related to accounting. Write your answer on your notebook. Okay, you may pause the video for a few minutes or any minutes. Let's say 10 minutes depending on how far or how long you had done answering just post this video for you to answer this okay so i will give you a few minutes to do this just locate the words in the grid and then write your answer in, in your notebook Any words that is related to accounting? It can be uh, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, or direction. It can be upward or downward. or whatever. Just as many as you can. Okay? I think you have done. Uh, let us start checking. Okay, let us start. Have you seen the following? Okay, I want you to check your own work. Try to look into whether you have seen the following words. Let us start with this. Accounting. Next, we have inventory. Then we have cash flows. Cash flow. Then we have profit then money 
then loss. What else? We have also expenses. We have also equity and recording. Some more? Okay, we have still other word. We have summarizing. Is there an, another word you've seen? How about this? Journal. And maybe this one. Ledger. Okay. So that will be. Nature of accounting. According to accounting theory, accounting is a systematic recording of financial transactions and the presentation of the related information to appropriate persons. Based on this definition, we can derive the following basic features of accounting. Accounting is service activity. Again, for the first description or nature of accounting, accounting is a service activity. When we say a service activity, it means that accounting provides assistance to decision makers by providing them financial reports that will guide them in coming up with a sound decision. Accounting is a process. A process refers to the method of performing any specific job step by step according to the objectives or targets. Accounting is identified as a process as it performs the specific task of collecting, processing, and communicating financial information. In doing so, it follows some definite steps like the collection, recording, classification, summarization, finalization, and reporting of financial information to internal and external users. It is a process because it entails steps to achieve the end goals, which is to provide financial information to both external and internal users. Later, in a separate topic, you will learn who are the external and internal users. You will also learn what are the difference between the two types of users of the financial reports or accounting. Number two. Accounting is an art. Art refers to a way of performing something. It entails creativity and skills to help us attain some objectives. Accounting is the art of recording, classifying, summarizing, and finalizing financial data. Accounting is a combination of techniques and its application requires skill and expertise. Accounting is both a process and an art. Why? Because accounting is both an art and a, and a discipline. Accounting is the art of recording, again, as what I have said just a while ago, that it is an art of recording, classifying, summarizing, and finalizing financial data. The word art refers to the way something is, is performed. It is a behavioral knowledge involving a certain creativity and skill to help us attain some specific ob objectives. Accounting is a systematic method consisting of definite techniques and its proper application requires skill and expertise. So by nature, accounting is an art and because it follows a certain standards and professional ethics, it is also a discipline. So gets. Yes. Number three. Accounting deals with financial information and transaction. 
accounting requires financial transactions and data. Classify this and finalizes the results given for a specified period of time as needed by their users. At every stage, from start to finish, accounting deals with financial information and financial information only. It does not deal with non-monetary or non-financial aspects of such information. Again, I will repeat, at every stage, from the start of the steps of accounting up to finesse, accounting deals with financial information and financial information only, no more, no less. Meaning to say, all non-monetary and non-financial aspects of such information are not recorded in or not accounted for. Okay? Number four, accounting is a means and not an end, meaning to say, accounting is a tool to achieve specific objectives. When we say accounting is the means by which a business achieves the goals, meaning to say, it is the means by which business information is communicated to business owners and stakeholders. The role of accounting in business is to provide information for managers and owners to use in operating the business. In addition, accounting information allows business owners to assess the efficiency and effectiveness of their business operations. Prepared accounting reports can be compared with industry standards or to a leading competitor to determine how the business is doing. Business owners may also use historical financial accounting statements to create trends for analyzing and forecasting future sales. So that is how accounting serves as a tool for the company to attain its goals. Number five. Accounting is an information system. Accounting is recognized and characterized as a storehouse of information. As a service function, it collects, processes, and communicates financial information of any entity. This discipline of knowledge has evolved to meet the need for financial information as required by various interested groups. Accounting helps the user of these financial reports to see the true picture of business in financial terms. In order for a business to survive, it is important that a business owner or manager will be well informed. So that is it. I have here example for you to uh, have this idea in your real life situation so that every one of us can re reflect. Okay, I have here, I would like to read this uh, scenario. Mr. Hwan is a retired government employee who is good at baking. One day, he decides to put up a bakery shop in your barangay. He renovates a portion of his house to serve as the area for the production of bread. He purchases baking equipment and raw materials to produce five different types of bread. Mr. Wan also hires Jose to help him with the baking and at the same time to be in charge of sales. Mr. Wan pays Jose on a weekly basis. Every day, Mr. Wan's wife deposits the daily cost sales in their bank account at XY Savings Bank. With the help of accounting, what possible decision or questions should one can accounting provide an answer to? Okay, in this scenario class, we can have so many uh, possible decisions. I mean, we can come up 
with so many uh, possible decisions. So we may have lots of questions, of course, to guide us to come up a possible decision. So question, is my business earning profitable or is my business in terms of profitability okay? Or is it gaining well? Or is it earning so good? Or what? Then another question. How much daily or monthly sales do I need in order to recover my fixed cost? Because he or she must know how to recover the cost, the fixed cost, to break even. So that by the end of the day, he or she may be able to know whether... He or she had has a profit or none at all. Diba? So another question is, do I need to hire additional workers to help me with the production? So depending on the demand of the customers on that particular bread products of Mr. Juan, then he must decide based on the uh, data being gathered. Another question may be, can I, can I afford to set up a new store in another place? Or he may ask, oh, can I have another branch in that particular area? Is it okay? What what, what was the status of my uh, this current bread or bake shop? Another question maybe, where do I get the funds if ever I would like to to have another new store in that particular place another as extension or can i afford to pay a bank loan so those are some questions that a person or an entrepreneur would ask now let us try to reflect on yourself how is this knowledge of this topic the nature of accounting essential to you as a future entrepreneur yes Yes, it is very important to keep you in track with the status of your business. This accounting uh, is a very important tool for you to keep track with the status of your business, whether it is profitable or not. How will you relate this to the real life situation? How will you apply accounting in your daily activities? Describe the nature of accounting, whether it is applicable in daily lives as a student. Give the basic features on the nature of accounting. Describe the nature of accounting. So those are some questions we need to uh, try to look into. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, I think I, you are ready for the evaluation. Okay, let us try to evaluate your learnings. Uh, let us have few minutes to answer this assessment uh, you are going to answer briefly okay so this is the question describe the nature of accounting give at least five basic features of accounting and discuss briefly you have here the rubrics so uh, you are going to look into upon answering this uh, short question an essay form you're going to look into the content or the idea it is five points organization of the idea is three points in reflection or reflecting it to a real life situation that is two points and the total is ten points i want you to write that in a one fourth sheet of yellow pad i guess if it cannot be uh, then in a yellow pad or any paper na lang. Then I want you to submit that during the retrieval of your module. Okay? Okay. For your standard activity class, I want you to answer this online quizlet just type this link or you may click this link or you may type this in the browser then go to this link and answer this quizlet online of course after that you need to pass the result in your blog then mention my name for us to check your score okay okay
then these are the reference or for this video lesson and thank you also created the pictures from the fbpt.com okay that will be all class for today thank you very much thank you for watching guys happy learning okay bye bye this is your teacher pearl now signing off